Welcome back to our channel. So, and look, at look the, who's here. Look who is here. Baby, say hi, Zuri. This is your debut. Look at it. Say hi. Say hi to all your all your aunties and uncles worldwide. You're gonna say hi? Hi, hi Mika. I'm Zuri. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, YouTube. <laughs> She's calm right now, so we need to do this video like ASAP before she starts misbehaving. Even though she doesn't misbehave that much, but you know, she just had like food, so she's really calm. But look up, this is the official debut of Siri. You see her? So and she's beautiful. She's she actually she's actually opening her eyes right now. She's so cute. She Ooh. knows how to pose already. Mm -hmm. We're proud of her baby hmm? okay guys so this is we just wanted to show you guys Zuri quickly if she's like halfway of the of the of this clip gone this probably we we brought her to uh grandma downstairs because yeah it's only a matter of fact before she start twitching and creaking and stuff like that but today we wanted to come and share our labor and delivery story because if you watched the labor and delivery vlog you would have seen how Everything went by like happened so fast that we didn't really have the time to tell you guys the entire story of what happened that day So I decided or we decided to like um, yeah Ooh. Bless you. Bless Bless you. you child Bless you. Oh, Lord. <laughs> Okay, so we decided to like tell you guys the story of the labor and delivery vlog so let's get started started we it started 19 of january 19 january 19 of november in the morning so that's no, going going back a little bit more let's tell the whole story what's story, babe? What, let's what, start with the night before what happened what night before okay so basically on 18th of november and uh, we couldn't sleep we couldn't sleep we were watching like series and at three o'clock i was i woke giuseppe i was like babe i'm hungry and literally that's the first time in the nine months that i'm pregnant that i actually woke up giuseppe at three in the morning to go get me food i never did that and for me it's also very strange because around 12 o'clock when we're watching series yeah i doze off i yeah. fall asleep like after one after around 12 or one i fall asleep like a gone yeah and that night was very strange because we were watching series and there was no sleep in our bodies. There was I, I wasn't sleepy, and I I gymed there a lot that day, and I was just very tired. So I'm supposed to be sleepy, right? So um, couldn't sleep. And around three o'clock, like she said, we looked at each other like, "Are you hungry?" I'm like, "Yeah." So, "Are you hungry?" Like, "Yeah." And I said, "I feel like breakfast." And like, "Hey, what?" And she's like, "I feel like a plate of rice." Like, okay, you know what? Let's go down and eat. So we went down and eat at 3 o'clock. We never done that. So we were sitting and eating downstairs. I had a bowl of breakfast cereal at 3 o'clock. Never happened in my life. Went back upstairs again after eating. And I fell asleep. And you fell asleep? I fell asleep, fell asleep around 4 or 5 ish. And then, out of the blue, um, she wakes me up around 6. She's like, babe, babe, wake up. And I was like coming out of my sleep and she was standing in the middle of the room and the light was on. I was like, what's going on? And she was like, I think it's happening. Like, what's happening? What are you talking about? And then I look and it's just, she's like holding all these pads and papers with blood. I was like, what the? I was just going, what the? What's happening? And she's like, yeah, I think uh, it's either my water broke or the baby is coming. Like, I was like, Oh my god, what do we do? Like, so okay. just calm down and uh, let's call our midwife. So, so I continue? Okay, so after I woke Giuseppe, I stood up, I woke up to pee, and then I realized that I was bleeding. And then I woke Giuseppe up, and then we called our midwife. And then she was asking me questions about the color of the blood, if it was super red, or if it was like, if it was like pinky red. Guys, this is what we mean. This is what I talk. This is what we're talking about. Oh dear! Here she goes. <laughs> if it was pinky red or not, so um, she was like, you know what? I think 
it's nothing alarming and then i wasn't having any contractions yet as well so she's like you're not having any contractions yet so just wait and see how everything goes i'm going to come meet you at uh eight in the morning because i called her at six so she's like i'm going to meet you at in two hours so so after i uh, dropped the phone like 30 minutes or 40 minutes later i got my first contraction and i looked at yourself i was like whoa whoa is this the first contraction this is gonna be a long night because that thing hurts and it lasted for like what 30 seconds so after then i started getting regular contractions every seven minutes so i had like this app on my phone where i tracked them so when my midwife came at eight o'clock i was already having contractions for about an hour or maybe hour and 10 minutes or something so she was like, okay, we're going to check you and see how far if things are happening. Because I told her I already started having contractions. So she checked me and to her surprise, I was already three centimeter dilated at that point. And I was only having contraction for almost for an hour and maybe a few minutes. So she was like, wow, this is very fast. Like when I called you, you weren't having any contractions and now you're already three centimeter dilated. So you know what? You're definitely going to be having the baby today. So we we're like, oh my God, it's finally going to happen. She's like, you know what? I'm going to go and come back at 12. And hopefully by then we should be uh, around, around five. five and then we can start heading to the hospital. She said she was going to come back at 12. So when she left, she no, she gave me an advice to go on the baths because the bath helped with the contraction. So when she left, we hurried to the bath and then the contractions really got Ten, got really intense and it became very shorter there was no like seven minutes in between and it was like three minutes in between and it became really really strong and after i took a shower i went downstairs but the contractions were like keep coming and coming and coming and at they what, were really intense at that yeah. point i was i remember she was lying on the couch downstairs and i said hey babe i need to go take a shower as well because we're probably going to go to the hospital later she's like no stay here whoa She's like, you're not going anywhere. I'm like, babe, I need to take a shower. I need to dress up. I'm in my uh, underwear. I need to go to the, the midwife's coming. And she's like, no, you're not going for me. She's like, it hurts like hell. And like, she was holding my hand so tight. I was like, okay, how are we going to do this? Yeah. But it became so intense. I saw I it in her eyes. I was throwing up. Yeah, she started throwing up from the pain. From the pain, because that's my only natural reaction when I'm in pain. I just throw up. So I was throwing up everywhere. I was like, babe, this is so painful. Like, I don't think it should be this painful. And she was like, and I was like, I can't wait to 12 o'clock. We need to call her right now. So I remember we called her quarter past 11. Yeah. And she got she got to my... I, I, yeah, I called her. I was like, listen... Uh, we can't wait till 12. She's so much pain right now. She told me to call you and she's like, okay, I'm on my way. Yeah. She's like, I'm close by. I'll come now. I won't wait till 12. I'll come now because it sounds like, you know. Yeah. So um, she came right away because she wasn't far. Like 10 minutes, she's already here. And she was like, I was like, I don't know, but the pain is really painful. And she's like, you know what? Let me just check you. Let me just check you, right? So she checked me. And then she was like, and I could see on her face, y'all, yeah, her face changed. I'm going to tell you why her face changed in a bit. She was like, well, you are actually seven and a half centimeter dilated. And you could see the air from my face just because I know what that means. Because my plan was to get an epidural. Like, because I already thought to myself, there was no way I'm ever going to be able to do it naturally because I felt I couldn't handle the pain and I know after you pass six centimeters they don't give you epidural anymore so my face is like someone just hit me in the gut so she's like she was like what and I was like <laughs> what she's like yeah I know that means there's no time there's anymore. No time we need anymore. to go to hospital now. We need to go to the hospital now. And also, sorry, we're not going to be able to give you an epidural. The only thing we can give you is like a painkiller uh, drip. If we get there if on time. If we get there on time. But the rate this dilation is going, I'm really scared right now that yeah. it's going to be on natural. And then the second thing is she called the hospital. Mm -hmm. She called the hospital like, hey, uh, to let the hospital know we're coming. And they said, well, we're very sorry. But the hospital is full. We have so much deliveries. All delivery rooms are full. You need to find another hospital. They're like, what? <laughs> so we had a good midwife. So she, she immediately called another hospital and said, hey, we need a room. And she said, okay, it's fine. You guys can come. 
And uh, so we found another hospital close by, which yeah, was Plan B which anyways. Plan B, but it became um, like the best, the best plan because it was a perfect, perfect hospital room. I had a bath, which wasn't in plan in the first place. In the so. end, in the end, we went there and, and and we came to the hospital and we were surprised because the one we were supposed to go just had a, a bed and then yeah. a couch. And this one we came into the room and it had like a huge bath in it. Yeah. And we we're the only ones in the room, so. Yeah, was, I mean, everything eventually was, was perfect. Perfect. So you know, things kind of worked out. Yeah. Uh, better. So what well, we got there, we got there. It was because with the hospital wasn't far. It was twenty, what, fifteen minutes drive. Yeah, max. max fifteen minutes drive from where, from where we were living to the hospital. We got there. I couldn't walk anymore at this point. The pain was excruciating. I was like, God, this is. How am I ever going to do this? So we got to the hospital. Fifteen minutes later, guys. Fifteen minutes later, mind you, and she shipped me right. 15 minutes later, she checked me and she's like, you were 9 centimeter dilated. Ooh. I was like, the last time I checked, that means when I'm 10 centimeter dilated, I need to start pushing. She's like, yes. So she's like, since you're 9 centimeter dilated, I'm scared we can also not give you the painkiller, the painkiller drip that's going to help with the pain. So I'm really sorry, but you have to do it all natural. Oh, so at this point, I was like, you know what? It is what it is. Even though I'm, I've been so scared and I've had this plan of getting an epidural, but at this point I'm not gonna get it. And the more I stress about it, the more the pain is just gonna affect me. At the moment, I decided to be zen, and I feel like that's the zen you guys saw in the vlog. Like I was so zen out, but the pain was there. But I have my, I have my companion. You can see how Giuseppe was like really. We were a team. Like we worked together. Like he was there with me. I was in my own zone. I needed to like just zone myself out out of the pain. I didn't think about it anymore because at this point, this that's what I was going to feel. And I asked her because for me, I work with I work with like time frame. I was like, okay, you midwife, how long do you think it's still going to take for the baby to come? So she told me like the last one centimeter normally takes like an hour and, and then, then the pushing, pushing takes an hour, an hour and a half so she's expecting the baby to be here in two and a half hours so i was like yeah. okay two and a half hours of pain i can i can do it so that was what all in my head two and a, two and a half hours of pain but sitting there in the room 15 minutes later i was like i need to push sorry guys Info too much information <laughs> i was like i told my midwife like i feel the urge to push she was like no you cannot push yet. The, she was like, check, the baby is not in the right position yet. So you're not, it's impossible that you're already feeling you need to push. I was like, but I need to push. She's like, no, it's just, it just happens. This normal. It happens when you're in labor, mm -hmm. in contractions, your body or your bowel movement of moving. You have the urge to poo or you need to go to the toilet or whatever. So she was like, you know what? I'm going to run the bath because the bath helps with the contractions and stuff like that. So she uh, start, she run the bath. And at this point, I was like, Zuri, are you okay? Are you okay? Zuri's like, Zuri is in his own, our own word right now. She was like, we need to go on the bat. So I was like, at this point, I don't feel like walking. I'm so in pain. She's like, trust me, it's going to help with the pain. Mm -hmm. So we managed to get me from my bed into the bath. And then sitting in the bath, I was like, after two minutes sitting in the bath, I was like, Sorry, but I really need to push. She was like, it's impossible. I was like, but I need to. I can't help it. Like, my body is telling me to push. And then she was like, you know what? Let me check you. And she went down there and checked. And she's like, wow. Okay. I see a head. There's a head there. So, yeah, you need to push. And at this point, in my head, I was like, okay, what? I need to push now. She's like, yeah, you've been asking. She's like, you've been asking to push now. It's time for you to push. So you need to push. So I was like, oh my God, now it is we need to push. And then we started pushing. Before you know it, everything happened so fast. We were already pushing. It was like the most, you don't even know where you get the strength from. Like in my head, I always thought like, oh, this is going to be the most difficult Thing I will ever do but at that point you don't think about the pain you don't think about the distress 
all you think about is bringing your baby into this life and make, making sure that she's healthy and sound. That was the only thing in my head. My child, I needed to push for her. I didn't know where the strength came from. I was just pushing and pushing and pushing. And within seven pushes, she was out. She was out and she was yep. crying. And as she that's saw... That's the most beautiful thing, guys. When uh, she came out, that first noise, that first cry she makes... Wow. That just does something to you it's crazy that's the first time you hear her voice it's crazy it is a crazy crazy sound it's yeah. like it went through my whole system and went straight to my heart it's crazy i exploded like my emotions like you already saw the vlog if you haven't seen the vlog i'm gonna link it so you go check it at that point i lost it i uh, i didn't even know what ha what was happening i think it's a like the I don't know it was so much happening and it went so fast i was like oh i was just in the labor two minutes ago oh my god there's a baby and she's crying and she's so healthy and everything is okay it was just the most amazing emotions in one and one moment at that time i was so happy and yeah so oh. it sucks she listens okay, she listens she just listens out so yeah oh zuri we're almost done we're almost done. <laughs> We're almost done. Nope, she ain't having it. <laughs> yeah, guys. So that is how Zuri was born. You guys, that's it. That's how fast it went. The whole labor from six o'clock to one to when was she born? One fifty-two. Yeah. So no, no epidural, no painkillers, nothing. When we came to the hospital, it all went so fast. There was no time for a drip. There was no time for nothing anymore. She needs to do it natural, and she did an amazing job. Guys. Yeah, and, and, and I, that's why I was like, thank you, Jesus, because really, 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 if you know me, my friends know me and my husband, I thought I was never going to be able to do it natural. Like, I had in my birth plan, give me the medicine when I say I can't anymore. So, for it to happen so fast and for me to be able to handle the pain, it's just God. Because I know I was like, at the point when she told me I couldn't take epidural, I was like, call upon, I was like, God okay you need to help me you need to give me the courage you need to make me calm because i know my midwife told me you need to be calm because the more stressed you are the more everything is your whole body will start reacting to that stress and it's just going to slow down the whole process so i really thank god for giving me that calmness because i never knew i had it it came from nowhere and i know it's only god that would have given me that kindness that calmness at that moment that I needed it. So yes, that is our bed and delivery story. We went in. And before you know before it, before you know it, we're in we're, we're we're out, the three. three of us, and we're going home. So yes. it was impressive. It was the most impressive thing I've ever seen in my life. It was scary at the same time, right? Yeah. Everything helped. I mean, we had bags. We had we carried three, four bags with us because everybody was like for. Child can take 18, 24 hours. 24 hours, 38 so hours I just, of labor. I, when we came to the hospital, I put two bags. I'm like, you know what? I'm going to unwrap them later. I'm going to unpack the bags later. Those bags never were unpacked. We came there, bam. She went on the bed. From the bed, she went into the to the tub. From the tub, she delivered back to the bed. It was just like... Bum, 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 it was bum, so bum, fast. Bum, bum, bum. Yeah. I just had barely had time to set up the camera, but I'm happy I did. So check it out. Check out the video if you didn't have... Uh, it's really uh, a special moment in our lives and from there on we've been parents and yeah and for two weeks now for Zuri two weeks. is going to be <laughs> two weeks tomorrow sunday the third of december so she's doing great she's really really she's amazing she's eating good she has gained her a uh, birth weight over a bed weight already so she's growing really good she's reacting to sounds she's she like she's getting used to our faces and voices so it's it's amazing we're just enjoying the process we'll uh, make a separate story about the first few nights the struggle of the, <laughs> the sleeping. struggle that will be a separate one <laughs> the sleeping struggle is real well we just wanted to thank god and everything for 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 safe delivery we had so much wishes Get from you guys. Well, wishes from the, you guys. Yeah, so before the delivery. All your so prayers. Many prayers, wishes, and I think 
that also gave us strength. Yes. Right? It, it, it's amazing. So thank you guys. Thank you guys so, so much. Thank you guys. I want to thank you and want to welcome all the new subscribers since the, since the review vlog. We've gotten a lot of subscribers. Thank you guys so, so much for watching our videos and subscribing and wanting to continue this journey with us. We really appreciate you guys and we hope we can stick to ourselves in the coming in the future and you guys will also stick around with us yeah that's uh that's what we wanted to share today do you we want to say bye Zuri? you have to turn her face is she sleeping she's sleeping yeah so we're sleeping let's try to see if we can turn her oh oh say bye bye oh he's sleeping guys Ooh. Zuri is sleeping at this point she's been you see she's been a very good girl she didn't very good girl she didn't like hustle a lot but yeah we're gonna sign up now. Yeah. You're so cute. <laughs> Thank you guys so so Thank much. Thank you guys. And we will see you guys in our next video. Bye bye.